Hello there. Um, we're looking at Attack of the Friday Monsters, a Tokyo Tale. It's on the 3DS. Uh, it's up on the eShop for about I think it's about seven pound. Uh, it's uh, I don't know, it's, it's about four or five hours I think in total. Uh, it, it's part of um, level five. I've had a, a thing about doing um, I guess vignettes of games, like small games. Uh, Sold fairly cheap and don't last too long. Works better with some games than us. Um, this is good. I, I like Tokyo Tale. Um, it's. Uh, let's see, I wanted to start with it. So there's. You're in a, a town just outside Tokyo, and there's uh, there's giant monsters appearing every Friday, Attack of the Friday Monsters, and uh, you're trying to get to the bottom of it. You're trying to find out. Um, What's going on with them? So you followed at this point. I'm in. Uh, we followed some giant footsteps to uh, to this. Um, let's see, I don't know if I can read the text. Fuji no Hana, I think. Creature features. Uh, now you probably can't see it, but there's a little glowing thing uh, just near my finger there, and uh, it's a glim. And what you do is you get if you get seven of these or seven matching ones. That's mightiest monster glim. And if I uh, click on the bottom screen, uh, so that primeval, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, um, colossal crustacean, uh, it looks like I've got five of them, if I get another two, then I will, uh, I'll make a card, and there's the cards, and uh, you get cards, and it's basically rock, paper, scissors, you put down five cards, and um, your opponent puts down five cards, and you have to, uh, you know, after you have to get scissors to eat paper and all that sort of stuff, and uh, you get hints and things. Um, that's a very small part of the game. Uh, most of it is uh, the sort of stuff I'm doing now. Where I don't know if you can see it, but there is a number nine glow in there, which is episode nine, which is that we're trying to find, um, trying to find the source of these monsters. And so it's basically you just go to these points, talk to people, or trigger things, and. Um, so uh, I think it's, uh, I need to read this. Okay, so my next mission there is to report it to the police. If um, I don't know if you saw that there, but the. Um, because I completed that mission, loads of glims dropped. I don't know if it showed up on camera. Um, but if I can go and pick these up, might have enough to uh, get a card, hopefully. Probably not by the look of it. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Okay, so, um, I forgot what I was about to say then. Uh, so, if I, I tap on the uh, menu, there you go. There's a 13 there, which is uh, another episode that I can go and do, which I think is a police officer. Um, so, the, the map's pretty simple. There's, uh, uh, there's people to talk to and, uh, and stuff. For it. So, this is... Let me just say, this is um, it's set in the 1970s, early 1970s, and uh, it was a different time then. It was a time where a young boy would think nothing of going to talk to an old man who was just loitering around under a bridge. Uh, yeah, so um, he's, uh, he's a fairly important character, but I'll, I'll leave that as, as something for you to discover. We need to head into town. I don't know if I can get this way yet. Let's see. So it looks like I could start a, uh, a card match here, but let's just go and uh, trigger this other episode quickly and then we'll come back and play some cards. So 
I can get one more, I might be able to um, uh, level up a card with any luck. I don't know if you can read any of this or not, but it's basically saying if you have matching cards, you can uh, combine them to level them up, which is hopefully what I'll be able to do now, which will give me an advantage. Okay, so I only have one of those. Okay, so it's now gone from a strength of three to a strength of six. That will become more apparent why in uh, or why that's important uh, in a second. Okay, I won't actually go to the. Uh, it, you know, if you can't read that, it was. Uh, I was basically told to uh, to go and report it to the TV station because uh, they clearly know something about it. Rather than oh well, he was going to go and report it to his uh, superiors or something. Um, we won't do that because I don't want to keep this going too long. What I will do instead is try and get into uh, a card battle. Um, I wonder if I can. Apparently not. So let's see if I can uh, battle someone I've already battled. There's not a lot of um, card battles in this, unless you really want to keep fighting the same people. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like a. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I'll just show you this. Um, So yeah, basically you put down five cards, eventually you have more than five to, cho uh, to choose from. Um, and matches are up, decided it's a current winner, uh, so it's one win for me, three losses, and one draw, so I'm losing. It will then give me some hints, which is doing now, so it tells me I'm, I'm winning one. So I've got, that's my only win, um, and my draw, so the rest I'm losing. Um, Annoyingly, he's going to switch two cards. So I know um, on this one, I'm losing, and it is a rock card. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it looks like a fist. Um, so that's got to be paper. So um, I will switch with. I might as well switch with him. Um, so. Uh, that should the rock. If I was losing, so uh, yeah, so my extra strength on that might come in handy. So let's see if I uh, if I manage to win this. Okay, so it's a draw, which means we battle, and because I leveled that card up, I have the strength to win. Yeah, and you see the battle here. And uh, my dragon thing, my Godzilla style monster, is pretty strong, so I win that. When you win, you get to cast a, a spell on people. Um, it's never explained particularly why that's done, but. Um,
So the spell knocks them down. Um, it's, I mean, it's obviously the kids are, are, are just uh, playing about with it, but it, it's it just sort of adds to the tone of it. Like the kids want to, uh, they want to believe this stuff. They they um, you know, they want to believe in the monsters and stuff, and they want to solve it. And yeah, it's just this really light tone of a game. It, it's it's uh, gameplay wise, it's nothing too difficult. It is just like I say, walking around the map and talking to people where there's a, a point to talk to people. That's serious music. So the music is maybe a bit overblown in terms of <laughs> what's actually going on. But, um, okay, I think this is going to be giving away a story thing, so we should just uh, should stop here. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this, Attack of the Friday Monsters. I think it's, I think it's great. Um, it's very, very easy, and it's very, very uh, low-key and placid and calm, and uh, as a, a nice little adventure to uh, to play through, you know, nothing too demanding, not too complicated. It's good. Um, like I say it took me about four or five hours, I think, um, and it's not. It's obviously it's not the world's greatest game ever, but it it, it is good, and it is. Uh, if you like Ghibli films and things like that, then I think you'll get something from it. If you want something more involved, if you want Pokemon, if you want uh, Shin Megami, it isn't that. But it, it's, like I say, it's a nice game. I guess that's how you'd describe it. I guess uh, it's just nice.